Welcome to the 30-Day Twitter Challenge for Teachers with Eric Langhorst, a step-by-step -step guide to getting started and getting the most out of Twitter. Hi, my name is Eric and you're in day 25 of Twitter for Teachers, a 30-day program to help teach educators how to use Twitter. Today's topic is TweetDeck. So as you begin to add followers and you participate in Ed Chats, Twitter can get a little bit complicated. It can get a little confusing. So a third-party application like TweetDeck oftentimes helps people manage their Twitter accounts and makes it a little bit easier to control all the stuff that is happening on your tweet stream. So let's use an analogy as we get started. Think about your Twitter stream as being a large river constant information flowing down this river. It's hard to manage and kind of view all the different things that might be important to you. So what TweetDeck does is on your computer screen, it creates different columns that track different things, things that you set up. So for example, you could create a column that's going to only show the tweets that include your name. You can include a column that only in includes all the tweets that have a particular hashtag. So for example, if you're a social studies teacher and you want to track what's happening on the hashtag SSChat all day, you create a column for that particular hashtag, and every time somebody tweets using that hashtag, it's going to show up in your column. So this is particularly helpful if you're following an ed chat. You can create a column for that ed chat, and all of the tweets using that hashtag are going to be in one specific place. At the same time that you're monitoring that column, you could also monitor any tweets that are specifically mentioning you by using your Twitter name in a tweet. So think of TweetDeck as being a way to create that one large river and separating it into different channels. And then you can manage those channels. So for example, I follow over a thousand people on Twitter, so I can't possibly be watching all of the time. But if somebody uses my username in a tweet, primarily because maybe they want me to see the tweet or respond to a tweet, that's going to show up in one particular column of TweetDeck, and it doesn't matter if I see that tweet happen live, I can go at any time to TweetDeck, and I can see that particular uh, column of notifications. So for a lot of people, TweetDeck is a way to manage and make it uh, a little bit more controlling so you have access to what you want to find in Twitter. So when you check out the resources for today, there are several videos, and really this is one of those things where you almost have to see what it looks like to really kind of understand it. There's some great tutorials. I've included some great videos that kind of walk you through um, what TweetDeck looks like. So go ahead and check those out first, and then your task for today is to go ahead and create a account with TweetDeck. There's no charge for it. It's completely free. Um, I'm just uh, wanting you to try it out for a week. Um, most people that try out TweetDeck um, use it constantly. I very rarely go to the actual Twitter app or Twitter webpage. I use it with TweetDeck. So I want you to just try it out for a week and see if you like it. And in particular, go back to the assignment we had uh, in the past that talks about finding an EdChat that you want to follow and try following an EdChat live using TweetDeck. And I think you'll find it a little bit more manageable than just trying to use the Twitter application. So that's your task for today. Find out about TweetDeck and then go ahead and set up an account for it. Tomorrow on day 26, we're gonna talk about some options that you have if you want to record a chat in Twitter. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow on day 26 as we talk about recording chats in Twitter. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please check out the entire collection of tips to help teachers use Twitter at twitterforteachers.com.